In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology, Islamic leadership, Islamic chaplaincy, or Islamic studies. This top-tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayan are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa sallallahu ta'ala wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. And welcome back again, brothers and sisters, to our daily program during the month of Ramadan, Our Common Humanity with me, Imam Shamsi Ali. Yesterday's episode was a special for me because I was talking about how to preserve our uhuwa, how to protect our brotherhood. And I call it so important to my to me personally because i'm possibly one of the many muslims who are very much concerned about the crisis of uhua that we have in our community locally and globally when you talk about our respective communities we see around this unity we see how muslims are dividing themselves on many grounds on racial grounds, on madhab grounds, on interest grounds. Globally speaking, one of the most important crises that this ummah is facing today is the crisis of Uhua. Between this country and that country, they are boycotting each other while they are brothers as Muslims. So brothers and sisters, this topic is paramount important. This topic is very, very um, needed at, that mo at this moment. And during the month of Ramadan, it is timingly um, uh, needed to uh, reflect for a moment, to ponder for a moment why our Uhuwa are broken, why Muslims are deeply disunited. It's, this is a big question, a very fundamental question that we need to respond. And the more we ponder, the more we think about, the more possibly we can find some reasons why our Uhuwa uh, is deeply broken uh, into pieces. Um, between this brother and that brother, they have gap. Between this group of Muslim brothers and that group of Muslim brothers, we have gap. But let me just, before coming to that particular issue, I just wanted to say that one of the great blessings for us Muslims, particularly Muslims in the United States, American Muslims, is about diversity, it's about different backgrounds that we have here in this country. We Muslim Americans feel that we represent the face of the Ummah because every, almost every single uh, Muslim represent every single human race. 
you're talking about European Muslim, you're talking about Middle Eastern Muslims, you're talking about African Muslims, you're talking about Asian, Hispanic, Russian, every type of Muslims you can find it here, find him or her here in America. And so we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that great blessings. Why this great blessings? Because that is the nature of this ummah. This ummah comprises of many, many backgrounds, comprises of many races, ethnicities, many cultures, many languages that we speak, and many uh, forms of um, understandings, interpretations of the same faith, alhamdulillah, that we believe in. And, and so we see the different madahi, for example, all these are blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we must not take it as a point for us to divide ourselves. Now, brothers and sisters, coming to the issue of why Muslims are divided um, and our Uhuwa is being broken into pieces, uh, there are many reasons to mention. But I think one of the, the, the important um, reason is coming back to the Iman itself. Um, it doesn't mean that individually, it doesn't mean that individually we are weak in our faith. Mashallah, you ask Muslims around, you ask sisters or brothers who happen to be Muslim, you ask, are you a believer? They will say, I am a believer. You know, in the month of Ramadan, Muslims are doing fasting as the symbol, as a sign of that faith. We do pray five times daily as a sign of that faith. In other words, that individually speaking, Muslims are believers. We have strong faith in our heart. Unfortunately, that faith is not yet translated firmly, strongly into our social action. So we keep our faith in our heart. We keep our Iman in our heart. This Iman is not only to be kept in our Iman, but must be expressed in our lives, so both individually and socially. And we must see that in terms of our connection to one another. So that Iman is expressed in building relations with one another as Muslims. For example, you see human beings who happen to be a Muslim, no matter who that person is, no matter how you agree or disagree with that person is, but he is your brother or sister. Do you know why? Because we have the same faith, we have the same belief, we have the same Iman. No matter that person, how that person you know, in terms of physical, it's different from you. You are black and he's white. But that person has the same common ground, which is the strongest ever common ground. What is the strongest common ground in our life? Our Iman. So he is or she is uh, your sister and he is your brother. This Iman, my brothers and sisters, must be expressed in our social life. Because our connection is not material, not physical, not economic connection. You know, European Union are becoming union as European nations become union, united, because of what? Because of political, economic, and military interest. But for us Muslims, you can imagine globally speaking, you know, possibly politically we have differences, possibly economically there are disparities, Possibly, culturally speaking, we have differences. But there is one strong thing that binding this ummah together. And that is the faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our iman in al-Islam itself. Believing in Rasulullah, the same Quran that we follow. This iman, my brothers and sisters, is the root, the root, the foundations of that uhuwa in al-Islam. And the less we express that in our connection, the less uhuwa that can be established. Therefore, the Quran once again emphasizes Innama al ikhwa. Verily the believers are but brothers. As long as Iman is there in our heart, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who you are in terms of physical appearance. As long as Iman is there, we are brothers and sisters. This is number one, brothers. Why our Uhuwa is deeply broken? Because we need to express our Iman our faith into our social behaviors, social connection, number one. Number two, why our Uhuwa is deeply broken? Because of the lacking sincer of, of sincerity, as I mentioned yesterday. It is paramount important to be sincere in order to maintain our Uhuwa. Why then 
the lacking of sincerity breaks our hua because we build and advance our hua on the basis of either it is political interest or economic interest or any worldly things to be interest of our hua. And as you know, brothers and sisters, no matter how expensive it is, no matter how valuable it is according to us, as long as it is dunya, material, physical things, it is cheap, cheap. So do not, you know, sell your faith, your uhua, by something which is cheap because of the dunya interest. And we are becoming uhua, we are becoming brothers because we have economic interest. Between this country, Muslim majority country, and that Muslim majority country, becoming brothers or sisters because of what? Become, because of economic interest. And the moment economic interest is less, their uhua becoming less. Very unfortunate. So we have to be sincere. It means that we have to build our uhua on the basis of that sincerity because we want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to seek the blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is, is the common ground. Allah is the place of every individual of these brothers are turning to. You are pleasing your brother because you want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or on the opposite, even when you are angry, when you are upset, when you have something undesirable you don't like from your brother, let it be. But do it in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not because of the whims or desire, not because of dunya, but because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as long as that brother has iman, he is still our brother. That is sincerity. So sincerity is such paramount important in order to maintain our brotherhood. And the lacking of sincerity is one of the most main reasons why Muslims are dividing themselves, becoming divided. Of course, the next one is, why Muslims are divided? Because in many ways, we are narrow-minded in the way we see our connection to one another. And that narrow-mindedness leads us into negative thinking about our brothers. So the next point, why Muslim Ummah are divided, Muslim Ummah lose their, lost their Uhuwa or brotherhood, because of that negative thinking. We always advance negative thinking. There is no positive thinking or less negative, positive thinking about our brothers and sisters. There are some other points that we need to talk about. But my point here, brothers and sisters, that Uhuwa is one of the most important uh, critical things that we are facing at the moment. Muslims are left behind economically. Muslims are weak politically. Muslims are marginalized militarily. And the reason is because we don't have uhua, we don't have unity, we don't have brotherhood. So it is very crucial for the Muslims to come back together to the same faith, to the Iman, so that we can connect once again ourselves on the basis of the same La ilaha illallah. Be united as one Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aqulu qali hadha wa astaghfirullah. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology, Islamic leadership, Islamic chaplaincy, or in Islamic studies. This top tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayan are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow. TV.